pressure is always the same. We, we want to perform. Yeah. Uh, and qualifying was tough to qualify very well. Trouble keeping the rear under him. Yeah, we need to put the wing back. Okay, five, five. I mean, you got a 21 7 and like a low 22, it'd be really good to have another 21 or so in there. I think you need three times. It's weird, everybody improved on the second set of tires, but nobody improved on the, oh no, Parker just improved on his third set of tires. Oh, Bramberlo, sorry. And now it's useless, there's cars off everywhere right now. Turn five and turn seven, so still have your high speed understeer. Yeah. Yeah, we took a flat of the rear toe out, so that should have been more back to normal, like just over two millimeters a side. Yeah, I mean, your time's a decent time. I would hope for a, a high 21, you know, thinking it should have been like a high 21, but because here it looks pretty dicey. You're going into one, and I, <laughs> I see it kind of stepping every single time. I don't know what to say. All right, checkers out. Figure out what we're doing here. Okay. He doesn't have a radio, so just tell him to go ahead. The cars were were really good. Yeah. There's just that little bit of percentage that we were not able to extract. We were unable to qualify in sticker tires. Um, just a couple things happened that you know, didn't go our way. So it's really no one's fault. It's just you know it's a lot of work, thrashing. Everyone did their best. So with a good race car, hopefully we can move up to the field. We're here having a lot of fun. We have a great team, yeah. and that just like takes the pressure off in general. You know, we're all focused and everyone's doing their job, which allows us to not feel pressure. Uh, yeah, after practice and qualifying, we're not starting in the best position, but we're here to race, so we'll make some moves. This is not the easiest track to pass on, yeah. and the field is really stacked, but uh, Lee's got a lot of experience and he kind of shared some things with me. So we're hoping to make some moves forward. working on this morning? Uh, just doing the final kind of look over for the race. Because we have two races today. We need to be a little more cautious, look it over closer. We checked setups last night and just made a few tweaks trying to help them today. On this episode, Ryan put stickers on cars. Fresh IMSA sticker for Lee's bumper. Atlanta, Michelin Road Atlanta for the final three contests of the season. We have a fantastic lineup of cars waiting to fire up for the anti penultimate time. Championships on the line in our classes this weekend Pro, Pro Am, and of course the 991. Work on getting temperature in the tires and the brakes. Track's not cold, so that's a good a bonus. So they're just reminding you guys that the green flag's gonna be really late, like as the first cars go under the flag stand. Keep the gap closed up on coming to this flag and just be ready to go. So we are waiting for the safety car to lead them around in the Multimatic supported number 15 Porsche with Semprio on board and his team. Let me know when you're coming up to turn 10, Luke. 
Row six is Ryan Gates in car number, number 11, alongside the pro and pole sitter uh, in car number 99. That's Alan Metney again. Row four, Lee Keen, number 12, and Leon Kohler from Germany making his debut in car number 14 for MRS GT Racing. So the car lights are out. We will be green this time. We will go green this time. Back up and pair up. Back up and pair up. Okay, pace car is off. Field looks good. Are you ready? So a beautiful lineup of cars. 45 minutes as ever on the clock. Ring, 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 ring. Go, go, go. Flat six engine notes rising. Prio gets a lovely jump start. Down towards turn one. There's a spinner at the back of the field. But somehow everybody's missed the number 84 car that's gone around. That's the Robbie Shaw car, one of the Kelly Moss Wooden Race machines. Freaking Dimitri almost gets taken out. Why? Really? Oh, dude! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Put the lottery on for that one because how everybody got past that, I'm not entirely sure. I don't didn't see who, but the kid almost got him. The 84 Dimitri got, almost got him. Huh? Dimitri almost oh, got him. Oh man! Then he was driving into the smoke, and he goes like, it had to be like this. temperature and pressure and spun that car around for all the differences that we have in these cars it's a brand new iteration of the venerable 911 right in the thick of that as well. There was side-by-side -side battling going on, but I, I can't say for certain whether there was a touch there. Is that... Uh oh I, I think there's a couple of cars involved at the bottom of the hill. What the hell happened? He got, up. He got hit by... He started spinning and tapped Lee. As they... Ah, got caught up with another car. So that would have been the Leon Kohler car who, for some reason, was a little bit slow coming under the Fox Factory Bridge at the kink of Turn 10, and that caused the schmozzle. So that is the number two of Sean McAllister and Lee Keane in the 311 RS number 12. And now another spinner. Two more cars off. Holy shit. Overheating for Sean McAllister. Full course yellow. Slippery surface. Okay, Leander, yellow here. Let's try to get your hazards off. Uh, how's the car feel okay? Kenny Moss, road and race driver, Sebastian Preo, unofficially to take the championship for 2021, the inaugural Porsche Carrera Cup North America, presented by Visit Cayman Islands. Two more races to go, and the pressure now off. You are currently in ninth spot. He is behind Castro and Dimitri, third car behind you. So they called the 53 car to Tech. That's the one that was too low, so he lost his qualifying position. They're probably going to double bounce him now. Probably too low again. I thought you were going to the wall. I don't know how I did. I mean, you, you kind of got a little traction on the curb. It just barely slowed you down enough, I think. I mean, 
and you were going backwards. I said, oh, it's in. Oh, I saw it in my rear mirror. Yeah. I said, it's I in. I went back and all I saw was wall. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah. I went for a ride. Oh, it, well, we just went three wide through turn 11 and turn 12. And I was on the inside. I was like, oh, oh. And I was like, oh, no, it's gone. And it was on, on asphalt and then grass. And I was backwards and I looked in the groovy mirror and all I saw was wall. And I was like, definitely hitting the wall. And then I was like, I didn't hit the wall. Amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. It was a, uh, not a place you want to go off. So, nebulous dude squeezes. He's like way, way over here. Oh, so yeah. he comes over real hard to block him, and I'm right here. If he didn't do that, I'd been fine. So he hits Sean, then Sean hits me. So I get through here, hits me, and then he hit me again. He basically went boom. There goes the level. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> hey, I didn't even slow down. Yeah. I saw you wave. Did you wave? I didn't see you wave. I didn't see you wave. <laughs> Did you guys got Michelin Man's? That's pretty cool. It looks like you from my jacket. It does. <laughs> I'm getting there. Two cars didn't make it. I was one of them that didn't make it. Oh, no. Yeah, we're about to run. We're going right now. Okay. Ready, feeling good. I uh, made some good progress forward in the first race. Oh, I had never raced at this track, so I was curious to see how it would race. But the race pretty well. I was behind Riley. Uh, he got me in the first corner, so I was able to see him kind of work his way through the field. There's a lot of places to pass if you are um, willing to kind of go there, and he was, and it was cool to see that. Amazing drive. It was so fun to watch. I got to see from behind. That's crazy. Oh, That's amazing. Amazing. What's our starting position? One four. Cool. It's okay. Do the same thing you just did. Same thing. Start pretty far back, but you know, I guess that's part of it. Looking forward to making some passes. I'm gonna try to catch up to Lee. <laughs> Car number 65 in the 14th position alongside Ryan Gates. Lee Keen in number 12 from 9th. Maxwell Root in car number 7 and Riley Dickinson in car number 53. 45 minutes on the clock, a little bit of bumping and barring, the green flags in the air. car is not moving well Lee Keane's coming into the pit lane so Lee had a little bit of contact at the beginning and uh, looks like he's damaged a radiator or some type of debris is hidden uh, Ryan's now running in good shape and running a clean race really uh, battling out with Metney So Ryan Gates looking to the inside of Alan Metney. Is he going to make that? He's going to lose, lose momentum going through the corner. He might lose a place here. Once again, here comes Ryan Gates trying. 
it down the left hand side, the inside into turn 10. Grady Willingham in the gold crest car, not a good. Here it comes. No. And that was pre up. That was the leader coming through at turn five. Ooh. Dirty. Through goes Kai Van Berlo and Alan Metney's out. Alan Metney's had contact. <laughs> gathering darkness now with uh, four minutes to go. And a couple of splendid races in the predecessor of this. Here comes Prio, has one final look down the inside into turn 12. Is he going to make it stick? He's going to have a look. No, he backs out of it. Kai Van Perle will take the victory. I'm not sure if you saw it, where yeah. you saw it, but like sometimes down, down into the S's, <laughs> a couple yeah. moments. I actually yelled one down, I was like, whoa! So that, that squished into the... Yeah, that, that worked on the radiator. Cut ra radiator? Yeah, and I know you didn't... I mean, it How literally left no mark. How that not a hundred times? How did it not happen when the leader pushed? Uh, it's right here. I mean, we almost made it by the end of the race. We could have gone back out there. Yeah. Piece of uh, is that a, is yeah, that a, uh, a phase two? Well, we're going to slap it back on. Not much we can do. It was much better through three, four, or three of the first part of the S's. Yeah. It was five that had a lot of front grip that caught me out a few times. Yeah. Um, up through five there was good. Yeah. It was seven and ten A and ten B where it was like, it wasn't even super over series there, but I would just bleed time every lap. And it's easy because just watch it drop and then go back the other yeah, way. Yeah, you know? that, that would be it. Props to Damascus. He's really ripping that 991. You see it. That's the uh, Lake Shore views, right? Mm. Well, if you look hard enough, you can kind of see it. Looks good. Right Matching vans? Yeah, very comfortable, these vans. They're really on to something. Off the wall. Kickflip. The new GPX Sim. It's so good. We'll be running it today. I feel good. It's kind of exciting. It's a little bit weird feeling. It's the last race. I just want to end on a good note. Yesterday wasn't great, so. Race two, I just had like a really, well, a car checked up right in front of me on the exit of the corner. And I just had a really innocent bump. I didn't even feel it because the bumper just squished in and just missed the bumper bar. And it just barely, one of the tabs that, that clips in barely poked the radiator. Right there. That. Mm -hmm. I don't feel too bad about that. It's not lucky. Mm -hmm. You do a full season, you're gonna have bad luck at some point. Oh. Hey, how you do this? Lou! I heard E say fat is fast, so we're gonna get some fried chicken today. Yeah, shout out to Balls On. Fast, fast. Oh, Balzan said that? Well, that's Balzan's motto, <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> Whenever I'm a road lane, I go check flag. It's tradition, and you can't break tradition. Hey there. Right. Yeah. Nobody's snagging the bag today. Yeah, it's bigger. We got more people. <laughs> we all have a great day. Thank you. How are we going? You got the same One hash brown. Chicken. Oh. Yep. Cheese. Cheese. Grape jelly. And English muffin. Yep. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, it's that salty sweet. It's salty sweet. Contrast. Got two years. Great carbs. Lots of carbs. Two years. Great sugar. Lots of sugar. sugar. So it's good to before a race. You excited to see the cars? You want to see race cars? Let's go see them. 
That's right. It must be the guys moving it, not the guy putting it sideways in his truck to get it here or anything else. Last race. What do you think? Are you giving him the good luck today with some Chick fil A? Chick fil A is going to help, for sure. That was really cool. I had never raced in the dark before, or like getting into dark. So that was fun. What do you need for Ryan to do here? He's, he's had a couple good uh, yeah, couple just, finishes. Just stay clean and take passes when he can. Get ahead. Last race of the year. I'm sure it's going to be uh, a lot of shit show. Start engines. Start, Start engines. Green, 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 go, go, go. To the last green flag of the season, which has been waved with some gusto. <laughs> Porsche Cup race there. Thank you, Dr. Ambrister. It's been a brilliant tenure for you and for the series. And one of his greatest achievements, bringing Carrera Cup to North America. Already a bit of argy-bargy going through the S's with Sebastian Carrazo going over the grass and also right in there, the MRS GT, the Oncola. Oh, that's going to be ugly. Oh, 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 go, 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 Lee, go, 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 yeah, baby. Porsche Carrera Cup North America terms, what we might call a bit of breathing space and off at the exit. Now, this is big news because this is Alan yes. Mendy. Oh, well. God damn it. Why would you do that? My God. Full course yellow, full course yellow. Okay, save these cars in. Let's be ready. Be ready. Ten minutes go, 35 to go, back to green flag here at Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta for the final race of the 2021. first, right? Yeah, Lee's in there. Two cars are inside. Oh, and he just tries to turn in there. Rene Robichaud is the Kelly Box Road race car. There was another car involved there. It was the uh, number 21, one of the 991s. They tried to go too wide. side of the road. Is that Matt Holcomb? Oh, there's a bunch of cars off. It's a turn one. There's been a schmuzzle. Full course yellow, full course yellow, incident, turn one. The race no one wanted to do. <laughs> Lights out. We will go green this time. Certainly remaining, John. Last third of the race, and the green flag is in the air. Prior has to survive the restart. <laughs> to a very good position to get a drive in a couple of years' time. He will come to the final checkered flag of the year as champion ahead of his teammate, Kai Van Berlo. First and second in this race. All right, boys, check the flag. Good job. Good job. Way to go. Oh, yeah. 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 
I did. I was aggressive. I know. I'm sure they I was aggressive. Yep. A little bit too aggressive. One time. So this weekend wasn't our best weekend, but the whole season as a whole was pretty awesome. Not skin for a new skin. First season prayer cut, new car. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. A lot of pride from my side and from the team side. Yeah. Without this team and their experience, I mean, for, from a startup standpoint, it wouldn't be possible. So, very thankful for that. Goldcrest came in as a technical partner, Greg Fordall, all those guys, the fly-in guys too, Nico, Matt, Trevor. It's pretty cool. It's, it's been great to get to know everybody. Prayer Cup's awesome.